Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to insert a SIM card into your Google Pixel 6 or 6 Pro. So the first step is I want you to remove the case if you do have a case on your Google Pixel. i do that now. And once the case is removed, make sure the Pixel is facing upright, so the camera is at the top, and you just want to check the left hand side. And you're going to notice that there is a outline with a little hole. This is where the SIM card tray is located. If I take a look at the, uh, the other side here, you're going to notice that that little outline is not available. So once you have out, uh, identified where the SIM card tray is, you're going to need a SIM card ejector tool. So in order to get this, this should be inside of your Google Pixel 6 box. If it isn't there or, you know, you don't have the box, well, then you can use a SIM card tray from, you know, another device. This is from an iPhone, if you're wondering. You can also use a pin or you can use a paper clip. So once we have the uh, SIM card ejector tool, what we're going to do is we're going to see here where the hole is. We're going to insert the uh, the thin end of the SIM card uh, ejector tray into the SIM card tray itself. So we're going to push downwards, okay? So push downwards with a bit of force and then uh, stop the force when you feel a little click. So we're going to press down, feel the click, and no more force is needed. You're also going to notice, you see right here, the actual uh, SIM card tray has ejected a little bit. So what we can do now is you can just push up to release the SIM card uh, ejector, and then you want to use your nails. I don't really have any nails, but uh, you should be okay uh, if you don't either. Just push up, wiggle it a little bit, and then you'll see the SIM card tray will eject. So now we need to find the side where we insert our SIM card in. So you can notice one side just has metal and it's flush if you just you know push your finger around it. And then the other side, you're gonna notice there is a bunch of text, there's a bunch of numbers, and if you push your finger in, you're going to notice that, uh, you know, the actual metal area is inwards compared to the plastic surroundings. So this is the right uh, area where we're going to insert the SIM card. So next, what we're going to do before we proceed, we're going to make sure that the hole with the SIM card tray is facing upwards. And then from here, it's going to place the tray down. I'm going to zoom in as well. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to get our SIM card you just want to make sure that the SIM card is facing where you see the, uh, the yellow here, you know, the black. Uh, that is the right way you want the SIM card to be facing. If you see the carrier, minus EE, then that's the wrong way. And so what you're going to do is you notice there's this little, uh, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to say it, but you have this rectangle, but then you have this little cutout here. You want to make sure this cutout is matching the cutout on the SIM card. So you can see that right here. And so you're just going to insert the SIM card with the cutouts matching the same way, just push down, just make sure that's now, you're going to see when I use my index finger and I rub it across, the SIM tray should be, uh, should feel fully flush because the SIM card uh, should remove the indent. And so from here, what we're going to do, I'm going to zoom out the camera, zoom it back in a little bit. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that the SIM card tray is facing up. And then from here, we're just going to check the phone itself. And you can notice uh, where the hole is. Just make sure that the phone is also facing up. Insert the actual main area of the SIM card uh, tray into the phone. Push down. And just like that, the SIM card is inserted. Now, you may be wondering, uh, you only showed one SIM card. What about two SIM cards? Well, I'm going to cover that right now. So if you want to do two SIM cards, if let's say you have a physical, well, you're going to have to convert it into an eSIM and then set up the eSIM on the phone itself. This is because the SIM card tray only supports one physical SIM, but it also supports a second eSIM. So how do you set up eSIM? Well, first of all, let's load up settings. I'm going to find at the top here, network and internet. You're going to see your current SIM card. If you want to, you can tap into that one and you'll see all of the information here. Now, my SIM card is like too far from the cell tower, so I'm getting no signal. But if you do get signal, you should be able to also turn on 4G cooling. In the United States, it may be called Bo LTE. And so I'm going to go back and to uh, add your second SIM card, you tap on plus, And you see here, download a SIM instead. You tap on this one. You tap on yes. And just give it a little bit. And it's going to say download your SIM. You're going to tap on next. And it says, scan a QR code from network. So how do you get this QR code? 
or you need to go to a stall. Let's say you have AT&T or let's say in UK EE, you'd go to an EE stall or an AT&T stall in person. You'd bring them your physical SIM card and you would say, would you be able to convert this into an eSIM? What they would do is they would take your SIM card and they'd give you a piece of paper with a QR code. It would also have a bunch of numbers on it. And so what you would do is you would get the QR code on the paper, place it in the frame of the camera, and just like that, your eSIM will be added. And now you'd have two SIM cards in your Google Pixel 6. Now, if you'd ever like to remove the uh, eSIM, Factory Reset does it. You can also tap on the SIM card inside settings and remove it that way as well, if you would like to. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.